Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the HROM S20 port for our Galaxy J7 2016, which is based on Android 10 with the One UI 2.1 skin. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, this is the HROM S20 port, which is the first Android 10 One UI port for our Galaxy J7 2016, and that to port it from S20 is like that a legendary device so first let's go into the settings and go into about phone and here you can see the device actually it's named to s20 you can edit it to json 2016 too if you want to make it like feel the original one and you can see the one ui version is also the latest 2.1 with android version 10 yes this is actually 10 not any build prop edits or something and then you can see here we have the same 3.18.140 h kernel uh, yeah, all of the like recent kernels which are available for the treble ROMs and all are with the same tag and the latest ones and you also get July 1 2020 security patch. So this is the latest security patch which S20 has. So yeah, that's why we have that too. Now guys, starting from the home screen, we get this uh, one UI launch. So you can see from S20. Now here is no search bar is available. I don't know how it looks on S20, but there might be a search bar. They won't leave it blank. Samsung will fill everything in their device and the launchers. And also the native blur is working fine and it is smooth, so smooth the transition. You can see it's really nice. So it feels it is not an S20 port. It is just a J7 Neo port or J7 NXT port, but it is an S20 port. It's so optimized. You can see also it's fully deep loaded. So all of the extra apps I have downloaded like to make it feel like a Samsung device, but yeah, most of the like very minimal apps are present. I don't remember, maybe seven to six apps, only six to seven apps. Okay, let's uh, skip that stuff, it's not important. Let's go to the display, and we have a lot of new stuff here. You can see it. this is just a preview thing the dark mode settings to light or dark. And here you can see in here we have turn on a schedule, and here we have adaptive color filter which you can enable. So you need location for this. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it is. Uh, it depends on the location. And it will uh, check the time, and then it will adjust the light to dark. So this is a really good feature if you are like really lazy just to switch it from dark to light or light to dark. Then we have motion smoothness, which of course will not work. So yeah, just don't interfere here. Then blue light filter which works really fine yep it works really fine and you also have turn on a schedule so you can also schedule it then we have screen mode vivid and all that stuff the normal stuff the natural colors if you want and vivid and you can also adjust the white balance as well as color calibration you can see rgb colors you can adjust so that's really nice also going back here you get the same uh one ui stuff font and bold font also is there so if you want to use bold font you can use that too also, uh, one thing I will tell you about after the installation, you have to do in the screen resolution settings to make it look like the perfect ROM. Yeah, I will uh, tell you about that. And also screen zoom is present just like the normal one UI and other stuff also easy mode and all that stuff. Edge screen is also present so you can customize that. You can see here we have the edge screen. Uh, where is it? Uh, is it there or not? Yeah, here we have the edge screen. Actually, the uh, toggle is a little bit transparent so I was not able to see it through the camera and I'm looking through the camera so yeah you can see the edge screen also has native blur and so smooth like it feels it is a high-end device but still we are going using a 7870 device which is a 2016 Jason and uh, going back to settings that is it we have navigation bar maybe you can customize it to full screen gestures but we don't have an option to disable them and use it or maybe we can just uh, you know use them uh, yeah, you can use them. So you have to be careful with those buttons because they won't be turning out But yeah, you can see they will be still turned on and you can use the full gestures as well Just be careful about that and if you choose navigation buttons, you won't be having any uh, on-screen navbar. You have to use your normal buttons So that's it touch sensitivity option won't work because we have the same display The display is not going to change and also we have this show charging information into the display now let's go to the wallpapers and themes section you get this uh, UI a little bit change in the UI you can see Samsung experience uh, experimenting new things also the dark mode and settings and all you can see adding a preview so that users will understand it more precisely so that is really nice and you can choose between my wallpapers and wallpaper services dynamic lock screen and that stuff and add apply dark mode to wallpaper so you can also you know the dark interface to the wallpaper 
and then we have themes and yes your th same old the theme manager which requires internet connection and sorry uh, i cannot connect it to the internet right now uh, lock screen and we have a lot of stuff here always on display but it doesn't seem to work so yeah you can see uh, always on display does not work so it's not that much of an issue it's not a required feature like we like should have have it but so yeah I'm not considering this as a bug because we don't have it on default uh, the stock roms uh, and you can customize your clock and all that stuff you can add some colors and all you can see to the clock you can customize then we have face widgets too you can enable or disable them if you want that uh, and contact information and normal stuff about the lock screen then into biometrics and security you also have face recognition i haven't tested it i thought like just making while uh, making the video i will test it so let's test it right now this is my pattern like for every other device and now you all guys know that do you wear glasses no uh, face recognition so yeah as you can see it's not working and that's a down point but it's okay it's not that important like you can use your uh, oh sorry we don't have fingerprint too so yeah just use pattern and the normal stuff it's okay it happens then going into advanced features we have side key we don't have side key so yeah just ignore that call and text on other devices i don't know how this works this is maybe a s20 feature or some newer one year features but yeah you can experiment always then we have screenshots and screen recorder you can tune the settings here screen recorder settings too and yeah media sounds and mic you can uh, record from the mic too and the video quality whatever you require Reduce animations if you want those quick snappy uh, animations here and there. Then motions and gestures, I don't know if they work. Palm swipe to capture may work. One handed mode, dual messenger, video and answer and all that stuff. The regular one. Uh, and yep, that's pretty much it. And we also have this uh, digital well being. Yeah, I can see Samsung tuned it. And this one looks uh, more uh, uh, neat and clean, you can see. The design is flat and really nice and they have implemented this one UI style so it looks really nice now and yeah that's pretty much it just other stuff is normal you can see into device care yeah this one is also updated so yeah thank god I showed this so you can see the interface is really nice now you can go here just by one click don't have to click on those big icons and yeah I can see a little bit of information a preview information uh, related to that stuff and also battery it's just saying yeah it's all good the device case or device is being taken good care yeah it's in my hand so of course it is going to be taken good care now let's take a look at the camera and you can see we get this new interface and a lot of options are available uh, i don't know if all of the options are working but yeah normal stuff may work i'm just worried about the uh, slow motion and all that stuff but that should work too because there are a lot of uh, new options here you can see live focus works fine I maybe I'll just show you it works fine I don't know if you can see through that camera or not but you can see the side blur has been applied so it works fine and we have hyperlapse too you can customize that afterwards the speed so yeah that's pretty much it for the camera now talking about the battery life the performance and the stuff the performance of this ROM is really nice uh, it's really smooth the ROM first of all is totally smooth so if you are using it for daily usage then I would say totally go for it. This is really nice. It looks like you are using the stock ROM with a lot of features. And yeah, that's it. One UI 2.1. July is a great batch. So I will definitely say go for it. Now, if you want to play games and all that stuff, I don't know if it's uh, like totally suitable for games like PUBG and all. Also, PUBG has been highly updated now and they have improved a lot that our device is not that suitable. I'm saying just 2GB RAM. And graphics also are really low so yeah it's not as a suitable device but still it is playable on the stock ROM so maybe you can try PUBG I'm not saying it is like not at all mean for gaming you can play your normal games and other performance if you're using it for daily usage it is totally perfect no bugs at all it's so smooth you can see the launcher and all it's so nice and responsive and yeah if uh, in just uh, case if you want to check the quick settings this is it and we also have this reboot toggle here uh, yeah that's really awesome I don't know I just show random things in between and that's it if you want to check you can see the deep slip it's totally nice 0.06 wow this is 
truly incredible and uh, the j7 2016 is giving me incredible battery life on almost all of the roms if uh, except aosp roms all stock one ui roms and touch visual roms are totally awesome and they're running well on the j7 2016 so i do have no doubt about the battery life just about the performance of gaming i have doubt because i haven't tested but yeah high-end games will obviously lag because this is a really old device like 2016 guys it's four years old and old graphics and all you can see samsung implementing some old stuff so yep that's it just don't want to stretch this video a lot and maybe it's totally stretched so that's it for this vid uh review of the s20 h rom this is s20 port for our galaxy j7 screen with android 10 with the samsung's one ui 2.1 skin and yep that's it uh, if you guys like this video press the like button and wait guys i'm going to show you the installation so yeah those who want to check the installation you have to continue the video and if not yeah if you are a pro in installing just go and install the installation notes are in the description so you can check that and yeah let's move towards the uh, installation now i'm just saying random but now okay let's move towards the installation just the regular way power of your device and you need a custom recovery of course for flashing custom roms so you have to press volume up uh, home and the power key to boot your device into custom recovery and i'm assuming you have already have custom recovery installed i made like maybe one or two videos on that you can check them out or yeah the custom recovery process is all the same using odin and if you're using tlrp and want to use orange fox or shrp just flash the zip and i'm using orange fox is which is the recommended one so yeah use that one only so you have to use exact those files so guys please please use the files which are used by me and all of the links are in the description so please check the description this is a really good rom and i want you all to try it so first thing is you need this files the h20 port the h20 port fix uh, this create vendor zip the first version of this spaghetti vendor and this is the magic scannery zip only magic scannery will work 20.4 or the latest other versions may give you boot loop so magic debug is magic scannery release so first of all if you are on any other rom like of course you are installing this so you are on any other rom you have to wipe all this and i have vendor uh, tab because i have uh, created the vendor zip that's why which is already so yeah so first of all you have to use this one the xeno 7 is in the create zip and the version 2 won't work it will give you a black screen so you have to use this now after using this i have already created a vendor partition so i don't have to reboot the recovery but still for you guys i'm just doing it so yeah if you're installing uh, create vendor zip for the first time you have to do this and if you are on any other versions of the treble like project treble or any other you have to flash the revert vendor specifically for that one and then you have to flash the create one vendor version one this is which is the one original one uh, sorry if i'm getting you confused but please check the description so that you will all be clear because yeah my accent is a little bit you know okay so after flashing this you have to flash the h20 rom port zip uh, let's skip this or else it will be a lot of stretched one so the rom has been flashed successfully and now you have to flash this uh, fix zip and i recommend to flash the magisk afterwards yeah it may boot but i always flash magisk after the first boot so now you reboot system i will also show you magisk and it works so yeah don't worry guys this may go out stretched but it's okay i'll show you the boot animation because I have tried with the newer when uh, newer create vendor zips and it does not boot it just shows black screen and this is it this is the Samsung boot animation and may boot soon like in three to four minutes so just keep it aside now I will show you the uh, locks like I will show you the setup screen and then we'll go to the magic installation okay guys so the ROM has been booted and you can see the default language has been set to France so you have to just change it to your uh, language so i will just use uh, english india is not there so I'll just use english us now let's get uh, yeah now i'll just skip this uh, setup and i will show you the magic installation and it works i'll just skip this setup okay guys so after skipping the setup screen so you can see 
this is totally deep loaded only uh, three three or uh, six seven apps are there now first of all you have to go into display and you have to change this uh, here screen resolution set it to FHD apply and again uh, set it to HD so uh, this is uh, recommended by the developer maybe there may be some glitches and uh, now it will work fine and now we'll just install magic so you have to again power off and go into the recovery by using the same buttons so i will just meet you directly at the recovery okay guys now to flash magic you have to use only the magic scanner which is provided in description and there you go let's skip it and there it is successfully flashed now let's reboot and i will straight away meet in the magisk app let's meet at the... and guys here we have the magisk manager app in the app drawer and let's open it and guys safety net will obviously fail so yeah just don't worry you can see here magisk uh, install normal status and yeah you can also install modules through here or uh, maybe here, I don't know. Uh, here, sorry. You can install modules and all. You can uh, grant root access from here. Your, the apps will be visible. You can see no app has asked for super user permission yet. So, yep, that's it. And I hope you will appreciate this video. And yeah, if you have any comments, please post in the comment section. And if you have liked this video, press the like button. If not, the dislike button. That will be a great feedback for my video. And yeah comments as always in the comment section and yeah please read the description for all notes all important stuff and all of the download links so yep that's it uh, bye bye and guys please take care uh, stay at your home and stay safe till then bye bye